Good day ladies and gentlemen, this is IRC News and I'm Joey Steven, an authorized Canadian immigration practitioner bringing out this data analysis release. This data release is for Canadian provinces where international students are heading to uh, study from Ukraine. Which are these? Uh, which provinces are Ukrainian nationals heading to study in 2018, 2019, and 20, 2020? This data may be vital for students to understand the destination of students based on their nationality when applying for study in Canada. The total applications and the success rate are provided in separate videos. Today is the 8th of March 2023 and I'm coming to you from the Pollinses Studios in Cambridge, Ontario. On my screen, you will see the name of the province and the number of applications with success rate for that province. Alberta, 2018, 17 applications from Ukrainian nationals. 2019, 9 applications and 2020, 10 applications from Ukrainian nationals. 12 is the average per year approximately and the success rate for 3 years 67%. British Columbia, 27 applications from Ukrainian nationals, 15 applications in 2019, 6 applications in 2020. Average applications per year, approximately 16, and 75% is the success rate for the province. Manitoba, 2018, 20 applications. 2019, 16 Ukrainian applications. 2020, 5 applications from Ukraine. Average is 14 per year, 86% success rate. New Brunswick. 2018, 31 applications, 2019, 48 applications, 2020, 9 applications. Average applications per year, 29. Average success rate is 90%. Newfoundland, 1 application in 2018 from Ukrainian nationals, 3 in 2019, and no applications in 2020, averaging 1 a year, 100% success rate for the 3 years. Nova Scotia, four applications from Ukrainian nationals in 2018, five in 2019, and one in 2020. Averaging three a year, 100% success rate, excellent success rate. Ontario, 2018, Ukrainian nationals applied, uh, 107 Ukrainian nationals applied, 37 in 2019, and nine the year of the COVID in 2020. 51, around 51 average a year, and the success rate for the three years was 75%, pretty good. New uh, Prince Edward PIA, PEI did not receive any applications from Ukrainian nationals. Quebec, 12 Ukrainian nationals applied in 2018, 6 in 2019, and nobody in 2020. Average per year, uh, we cannot see but the success rate is also pretty good. Saskatchewan, nine applications in 2018. 2019, they had 19. and 2020, they had four applications from Ukrainian nationals. It's around six a year is the average, uh, uh, and uh, success rate is also pretty high in the province. The correct success rate is not there on my screen today. When it comes to the top provinces for study uh, permit applications for citizens from Ukraine, based on the numbers applied for, the province of Ontario is number one. Okay, but this could uh, applications from provinces with less numbers could be a huge opportunity as well. Please keep in mind that the years we are discussing this data about are the pandemic years with travel and other restrictions. The figures may not represent the popularity of the course or destination. IRC News will be releasing new uh, data for 2021 and 2022 
shop. Canada has emerged one of the top study destinations for international students with the demand for studying in Canada increasing year after year. To keep students informed, IRC News regularly releases information on total study permit applications based on citizenship of the applicants, their success rates uh, of the applications and the type of ed education these applications are for. This information is provided in separate information for easy access and handling. This Canadian education analysis video is brought to you by IRC News. Please subscribe to this channel for more Canadian job opportunities, data analysis and immigration news. If you want to become a Canadian permanent resident, you can learn more by attending the free online YouTube videos the links of which are now posted on your screen, polincis.com slash p. Your Canadian authorized representative also conducts a free weekly Q&A session every week on Fridays. For time and Zoom meeting credentials, please visit this website or which you can see on your screen, myar.me Please follow guidance from the Canadian government about who can charge fees for Canadian immigration services. The redirect link which you can see on, on your screen now, polincis.co slash rep will lead you there. If you want to obtain a free multiple approaches Canadian PR evaluation directly from a Canadian authorized representative, then myar.me slash evaluation XX can assist you. Also, feel free to visit your our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. From all of us at IRC News, and especially from your Paul and team, we thank you for watching. If you like this news, please like this video. And if you want to receive notifications about more Canadian job positions, then please subscribe to this channel. But life still goes on. I want some help, palances, palances, palances by my side. I don't want to live alone. Canada Got to make it on my